thing we talk about picking a brush and uh, you know mixing the paint and then when we talk about drawing we talk about taking a pen or pencil I think that mentally or technically we can actually paint by drawing and draw by painting when we draw we use lines and especially outlining and when we paint we uh, focus more on colors and uh, the shapes they form. Drawing is about outlining and painting is about color. With this um, mindset, maybe you could think about your drawing, for example. Is it focused on line work or is it focused on color? Maybe if it's focused on color, maybe you paint by drawing. And if your painting is focused on line work, maybe you actually draw by painting. In the class Intuitive Coloring, in my latest class, we paint by drawing. So even if we have colored pencils uh, and we don't use any mediums, we still uh, don't use lines so that they would outline the shapes. We use lines in a very different way and in a very minimalistic way. We focus on color and shapes much more. So intuitive coloring, even if it's for colored pencils, it's actually a kind of painting class in that sense that you can actually take many of its methods and tips and start painting in that way. Then I also have uh, classes that are quite focused on light work. For example, I found this when I was going through my pieces that I made for the classes and I found this. Uh, maybe you who have participated animal inkdom recognize this this is actually a print i've taped many many uh, papers together and made a print of the main work that is made in the class so in the class every section have lots of small projects and then we take one big project that we continue in every module and the final result is something like this a world uh, with animals so in animal inkdom magical inkdom we use a lot of drawing and then some coloring which is in these terms a bit painting uh, of, you can use colored pencils and you can use watercolors you can use whatever you like to color your line work uh, but it's uh, quite line oriented class then I have the class inspirational drawing which is something between it's very line focused but actually uh, the way we use lines is not so much outlining it's more like creating meshes and that way it's a bit like painting so you can also paint with lines think about that it's quite interesting idea and it has been significant for me for growing as an artist to be able to use lines in in that way to understand that I can create planes and I can create shapes and with all kinds of messages for me line has always been so important that it's actually a bit surprising that i'm so much of a painter these days so in intuitive coloring for example in this piece the first pro project of the class we really paint by coloring paint with pencils so we don't use any outlines and we aim soft shapes and all the softness and gentleness and everything that painting has <laughs> Hello and 
welcome to Intuitive Coloring. I'm Pavy, your guide in this class.